Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, well, we'll have to do this old school style. How you doing? Well, you know. Was your, was your desktop floating? Right here. Look at that. Just, just chilling. Just chilling. Well, good day, everyone, and welcome. How's everybody having? A hopefully, a good day. That was a really weird intro. Yeah. All right. Come on on. Hop, hop down and help me out, sir. So today, as promised, we're going to open this box right here from Sound Digital. Hello, how are you? Before we do that though, I wanna, I wanna go over a few things. I wanna show you a few things, something to think about. You know, obviously I have, you know, my brain doing its thing and I was like, you know, here's something cool. What is the cool? So for those of you guys that haven't ever seen anything like this, this is the amplifier that is in your radio. What's up everybody? That just all like popped up. Yeah, <laughs> What's yeah, in the yeah. box? So this is it. This is that 50 watt by four amplifier you get in that head unit. And this reality is, it's like 18 watts. Look, look at, look at this. I mean, this is it. This look, that's why radios don't like water, by the way, because these things corrode super easy when they get wet. But this, this is, is it. Powerful. This is the, this is the <laughs> giant amplifier. Yeah. Now let's compare it to this guy right here. So this is the Evo X line of sound digital these are their micro amplifiers and as you guys know i love micro amplifiers i think they're extremely cool one of the things that we didn't get to talk about when we took a look at the 404 last time was this right here how they do this so here is positive here is the other speakers negative and then positive and negative go into here it's like a dual mono design on how they did this it's pretty cool and as you can see this guy is my hands aren't big so this thing is super small. Give me, hand me, could you hand me a pair of the like wire crimpers? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I feel like everybody knows how big a pair of wire crimpers are. Look at that. I mean, that's it. This guy, so this, 18. This is bigger. More power here. This is the box that it comes in. And then Which we have this guy. They send. They, they send, because the they know how I, I love, I love these. And they're like, well, you know, eh. Eh, what? All right, let's get to this. Do you have a knife? No, Gra no. Grab the knife. There it is. And that's why we used yellow knives, by the way, just in case you were wondering. So when I open the drawer, it's really the only yellow thing in here except a pencil. So buy different colored tools. Makes them easy to see. Pro tip for the day. All right, let's open this guy up. Now we've been sitting on this because we're waiting for the right occasion. And today, well, since there was no other video up because i went to bed early shame on you i know Ooh, and there's a note let's see the note oh it's of and course it it's a bigger box what is, all right it says we told you not to feed it after midnight do you know what movie <laughs> that's from all right let's no. play do you know what movie that's from no, not at all. you don't know what movie that's from all right let's throw this on the floor all right you want me to tell you yeah gremlins did oh, you ever yes, watch Gremlins? Yes, Remember, don't yeah, feed them yeah, after yeah, midnight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. Oh. So here we go. Who, who didn't love Gremlins? All right. So what is this? What is this? What is this? Do you know what movie that's from? No. <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack Skellington. What is this? Remember, did, you ever, did you ever see that movie? I haven't made it through the whole movie yet. So. All right. Anyways. All right. Enough movie talk wow. for the day. All right. Here's what we got. Bigger. Ooh, it's got a fan on the bottom. It is. Yeah, look at that. Okay. No fan, fan. All right, so this is the next size up. This is the 1200.4 Evo X. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you're installing this one, obviously you want to use some nice risers. Now you guys always ask, what do we use for risers? Yeah, this is for this risers? is our, so as you see, we got this guy right here. You know what these are? These are all the little four gauge or eight gauge rings we take out of uh, four gauge fuse holders and we just save them and that's what we use as risers. So just there again, another pro tip, life hack. Ah. All right, so what so do we got? I was, I was just wondering oh. like, okay, how do I'm going to screw it? Dude, does this one come off? Yeah, it has to. Oh, it does. Yes. So I was like, okay, and now I'm like, Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. Because putting these Allen screws in when we were playing with this was really upsetting me because well, I was case. like, this is driving me crazy. Well, I'm going to unscrew my, yeah. my wires. So all right, like, okay. so, all right, so first off, obviously when you're trying to put your wires, 
Don't be like us. Remove these. Yeah. All right. Cool. Here we go. So now this has a conventional, conventional uh, hook up here. So this is the 1200.4, and we have our power wires here. Is it an over under design? No. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's an yeah. over under. Bottom so this there. is what we call over under design, where you have channel one here, channel two here, channel three here, channel four here, mm -hmm. and then of course we have our power ground. And dude, that looks like it'll take a four, four gauge. gauge. Yeah. Wow. Gauge, there you go. Gauge, so this is twelve hundred four. So that's almost. That should be like three times the amount of power. That. All right. Let's well, get. The power is. Oh, they got the sticker on yeah. the back. It's uh three hundred by four. Uh, two ohms that's pretty good uh 335 by four a two Ooh. oh so that's 12 volts and 14 volts yeah so i wonder what the four ohm rating is let's let's open up the instructions so there again this has high level or low level inputs located on the opposite side of the amplifier let's take a look at those we have our gain control i'm sorry we have our crossover from 45 to 850 high pass low pass or off Gain control is located here. This is your high level inputs. Those come in the box. That's these guys right here. These, there again, they, they use the right color wires. It's not rated a four. Is that, well. Oh no, yes. Yeah, right okay. It's, All right. Uh, Hold on, let me, let me finish this. Uh, so you have channel one and two inputs here, channel three and four inputs here. Mirrored image of that. So here's your high off and low pass, 45 to 850. And so this would be great for some louds. And then of course your gain control right here. All right, what do we got on specs? All right, on specs we have Let's go to bridge. The, yeah, we just saw that. Uh, yeah, well let's not go to bridge. Let's go, what's that one there? Right there. It's uh, 600 by two. All right, what's the four channel? What's this it's, one? Uh, this is the four channel, 396 by two. Oh, right, what's the one? Oh, wow. Oh yeah, That's so they, they got a That's lot it. of ratings. Now, one of the things that's unique about these um, down here, when you're looking at this, these amplifiers are rated at 12.6 volts at 60 hertz. Okay, with total harmonic distortion of 1%. Um, so they don't use this. They, that's how they get their rating. That's how they get their power. It's a little bit different than everyone else. So it's, it's quite unique. Um, oh, wow. Uh, toys for Boys. Canadian, keeping it evil always. Hey, thanks, man. Definitely. Thank you. Thank um, you for the 666. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Keeping it evil as always. Now, of course, in the box, the, the, they don't do birth certificates. They, no. they don't do birth certificates. All you get is the standard spec sheet. Yeah. I know. I wish they did do a birth certificate. I really am getting in. I like amps that come with birth certificates. Maybe at some point they will. But they're babies. So they they are babies. <laughs> yeah. So here is. So here we go. Here is the little 404. And here is the 1204. Let's get those the right direction so that... And then this is your little factory amplifier. And here is a pair of crimpers. As you can see, this one is... It's bigger. It's definitely bigger. But you got a lot more power. I like the... I'm a wired nerd, as you guys already know. Like, I like wiring. Uh -huh. And being able to run 4-gauge into it, even though I'm pretty sure it probably doesn't need it, I like that. Okay, so... I don't know if they make a typo. They make two different ones. They have the 1204. Yep. Four ohms, right? Okay. And they have the 1202. 1200, a two. Ooh, those are two different amplifiers, maybe. Correct. Oh, so we have the four ohm version. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good but question. I will have to find out. But check sounddigital.com. Definitely head and over to sounddigital.com. You can find out if they make two of them. But this is so cool, man. All right, that is awesome. So I can't wait to start playing with that guy. As soon as the lab comes back, we'll get yeah, that in there. And it? yeah, where is the lab, <laughs> Fernando? Oh, man. <laughs> it's in the shop right now. Yeah. All right, guys. Hey, listen, that's it. We just wanted to come and open the box and show you the new Sound Digital Amplifier, the new Evo X. We have two of them here to play with. I'm super excited. We have done some fun with this, yeah. uh, with the little guy. We've already played with it a little bit and just kind of. We were, mean, we were mean to it. I'm not going to lie. We, we did it dirty. But it, this one is not hot. This one is actually cold, so we're not going to drop it today. Yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but stay tuned. We're going we're gonna to throw those into the lab as soon as the lab gets back. Yep. And that's it. Now, for the rest of you guys, 
I know you, you got questions, you want to ask questions, and I appreciate it. I want to answer questions, but we're going to head over to Instagram right now, and that's where we're going to take your questions. So head over to Five Star on Instagram and join us there, and we'll, we'll, we'll answer some stuff. <laughs> Don't drop it. I won't. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in today. Bye, guys. See ya.